I don't even know where to start today. <laughs> well, tell everybody hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Rest in peace, Pee Wee. Yes, indeed. Um, let's start real quick with the Guardians. A little breaking news. Uh, <laughs> every time I try to get on the side of the Guardians, they do something to piss me off. Uh, Aaron Savali is gone, apparently. Bye. Savali has been traded to the Rays for the number four prospect, a first baseman. Well, that's what they need, first baseman. So you give up one of your best pitchers, and you get a first baseman. Well, they've got big pitching talent, don't they? They have. Well, then there's Bieber, but he's, he's out. What for yeah. the year? I think his arm fell off. Uh, then there's um. Who's after Bieber? Well, Savali, but he's not here he's anymore. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, well, you got, what's his name? Classe in the bullpen, right? Uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Whatever. You know, I... I'm glad I'm a, gar- or a, a Padres fan. There you go. Don't have to deal with this nonsense. Oof. So, yeah, uh, Aaron Savali apparently is gone. I mean, that's what I'm reading on Twitter and everywhere else. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it says that he's traded. It says he's uh, he's out. And did he just win yesterday? I don't know. Yeah, probably. probably. I think he did. I think he he, he won yesterday, and now he's Got traded. Got win and... And beat it. <laughs> get out. <laughs> I, mean, I don't understand. They're, what, like 500 or a game above 500 or something like that, and then... Well, it's a garbage team. I mean, dude, even if they win the division, for sake of argument, they win the division. They go 82 and 80. They win the division. Where are they going to go? Yeah. You see them beating the Yankees? No. But anything's possible. You know, I know it's cliche to say, but once you get into the playoffs, you know, anything is possible. We've seen teams go on runs during you know, the, the postseason. And, you know, they're good enough. That they have enough talent that I thought they could have done some kind of noise. But yeah, um, so, oh, yes, Savali traded. Yeah, see ya. To the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, I get it. And I see you, Gunner, and I'm with you. I know the Padres are hurting. The Padres suck this year, which makes it all the more clear that I did not just jump on a bandwagon when the when the Indians changed their name. Because I, I went to the Padres, and boy, they are not living up to, what do they have, a $250 million payroll or something? And Yeah. And they're just like ten games out or something. Five hundred and a half game out of first, and we trade probably our best pitcher. Well, yeah. I yeah, know it's the a prospect. move for the future. Yes, it's a move for the future, and down the road this will be great, and everything's fine. You know, I, maybe they look. It, it, forget about the name change, all that dumb crap. But I, at least I can say that I generally have faith in the front office, Antonetti. I, I kind of like him, and. I, I kind of have faith in what they do, and Francona can do a job managing anybody. But I, I don't know. I don't like. I don't like this. But it's Dude. usual. It's, it's usual. Cleveland baseball team move kind of stuff. This first baseman has the best talent since Paul Sorrento held that. Corner. Oh yeah, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna light it up. Yeah. This guy uh, might be the next Travis Hafner. He <laughs> could be. Could very well be. You don't know. I, I DoorDash on the side, as you well know. And yeah. the other night I got, got an order with my wife to Travis H. And I was like, dude, what if Travis Hafner is DoorDashing some food? One, I thought it was a shitty tip. Right. But two, I got to the house and I was like, man, I don't think this is Hafner's <laughs> house. I mean, it could be. He's been out of baseball for a while, but. It was a. It was not. Has it exact, fallen that far down? <laughs> it was not exactly the uh, palatial estate you would expect a former Major League Baseball player to be but hanging out in. Most right. of the big spenders are hurting this year. Take a look at the Mets. Yeah, but it's true. Okay. Right. Yeah, the yeah. Mets traded Max Scher- Scherzer. Yeah. So yeah, big names are being are leaving teams. Not that not that Aaron Savali is a big name, but but you know the. He's a big name for this town. Well, I get he's an okay. He's not a Max Scherzer name. No, but he's a good name for the Guardian, Indian Guardian, whatever. You, yeah, the team here in Cleveland, Cleve, the Cleveland baseball team, as they call his their football team in Washington for a while. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess this is a move, <laughs> but I, I for the future we'll be okay next year. We'll get him next year. It's that power bat they've been looking for for years, dude. Yes, it's in the minors. 
Coming from the up. Rays. He's number four prospect. We didn't get the one, two, or three prospect, but we got number four. So that's good. This guy's got the home run potential of an Andre Thornton. Let me <laughs> just least, tell you. <laughs> yes. But at least we didn't get the number five prospect. We got number four. So this guy's we're got okay. the this guy's got the glove of a Jerry Dibzinski. <laughs> I'll pull all these old names out. <laughs> He's going to be good. Haven't had a prospect this stellar since Tom Verizer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are oppressed. Well, they were, but now they changed their name, so that oppression is gone. It is gone. They are blessed. They are now blessed to be named after that bridge. Now they're oppressed with no talent. That's right. Because <laughs> they get rid of it all. And you know Tito's going to step down at the end of this year, too. So Guardians You know, you know that's coming, now. right? Of course. He's that, that's, that's, you know, they might as well start losing. They might as well fire Tito at this point. Before Just fire him so there. he could go out. Either that or at least announce that he's retiring so that he can do the victory lap. Yeah. Do you think they will or no? No. They'll wait till August. This is an open-ended contract. They'll let him do whatever the hell he wants to do. He's going to retire. Dude, he's been sick the last, what, three years? I would have retired two years ago. Yeah, well, dude, you're not making $10 million a year. That's a good point. (laughs) What else is he going to do to make that kind of money? (laughs) You know, he could do whatever he wants. If he wants to show up, he makes $10 million. If he doesn't, he doesn't. What would you do? If I retired tomorrow, making the same amount of money, zero. That's right. <laughs> we only have three first basemen. Well, this is going to be a good one, though. Yeah. This will be the one we've been looking for. Well, they're going to probably trade Josh Bell, don't you think, before the no, deadline? No, we'll move him to the outfield. No, they got to trade. Tito hates Josh Bell. Why? Because He never wants to even talk about him. Or play. I was listening to um, Carmen and that horrible Anthony Lima the other day. And um and they were talking about Josh Bell and uh, they were saying about how they actually played two clips a month apart of him talking about Josh Bell and he literally said word for word the same thing of well if he gets hot he'll he could he could do something for us down <laughs> and the translation of that is he sucks and that's why I don't play him all the time. <laughs> Tito is opening restaurants. Well, I mean, he has doesn't he have a pizza sauce or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, each of the three first base or first, second, or third. That's that's what I'm saying. Why we can not? be creative now with this team. That's right. Maybe we could just field a whole team of first basemen. <laughs> that would be something. Mm-hmm. See, we here in Cleveland like to reinvent things. That's right. <laughs> We're going to make it better. Did you see Tito thrown out of game? And first inning the other day, he was ticked at the uh, by his calls. I, I can't say that I, I've watched – well, I watched a game. I was at it. I watched the game. I was at. Do you know look at the food? But do you ever think that maybe they're just tired, so they go out there and argue with the umpire and go home, take a nap? I'm gonna go get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap in my office for two, three hours till the game's over. Yeah, because it's kind of tough, tough to like call in, right? I'm like, who do you call? Yeah. Like if you're sitting there one day and you're like not feeling great, and just you know, you taking mental days sure, off of work, of course. And, and you know, you pull your, you know, you pull yourself, so it's not really. But back, you had a job. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I and you call your boss. Course. Sure. Like, I used to call Ray Davis and be like, oh, God, I don't feel good. Yeah. Uh, like, you I had feel a little like headache, but You had a little uh, headache, but you were pretty, but you made it much more. You were like, yeah. You know, you're like, ooh, I oh got a headache God. today. Ray, hey. I don't think I can make it today. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to make it, man. I've been throwing uh, up for the last nine hours. Oh, <laughs> uh, God, yeah. So, I mean, like, if you're Tito, though, who do you call? Do you call like, Anthony? He'd be like, oh, dude. Oh, man, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But it's been a rough night. I don't feel good. Didn't get any sleep. I'm throwing up all day. You better get the pitching coach ready because yeah, I don't think some, I'm going to make it today. Get somebody up. <laughs> <laughs> the best was, was Carmen. Like, I'm going to read a post that was put on Facebook here in a few, but uh, Carmen was the fucking worst at, at calling off. Right. Like, he would literally call me or Ray or whoever, and Ray would actually put him on the phone sometimes. And this idiot would call him, yeah, man, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm uh, 
I'm throwing up. Bleh. Like you'd hear him like, <laughs> like, dude, all right, you didn't just actually throw up on the phone. You can yeah. hear you like actually pretending to throw up. Yeah. Like, you think that much, we're that much of an asshole that you, know, you actually <laughs> believe that the time you threw up is when you picked up the phone, dialed right. up the phone number. Oh, Ray. Hey, I don't feel so good. Bleh. Had a, had a glass of off. water next to him to dump into the of toilet course. so it sounded. <laughs> I may not have played a lot of sound effects on the trip show, but I know what they sound like. Right. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick. <laughs> <laughs> because he had to go over the top with it. I mean, you know, legally, they're not allowed to ask you while you're calling off. Right. And so, you know, I would just call Ray and say, dude, I'm sick. And if you even try to say what's wrong, don't even ask. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not coming in. I'm sick. <laughs> uh, Bell is untradeable. $16 million next year organization can't develop pitching, but they really strike out on free agent position players. I don't agree with that at all. $16 million is not a lot for a rent-a-bat guy. Look at how much we spent for Jay Bruce. Yeah. And that guy was a bust. We got a lot of bus. Uh, yeah. These guys were supposed to be. Carmen is a five tool player. <laughs> a tool is the appropriate tool. word. Yeah, at least one tool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't know. Savali traded. There you go. I, mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I'm not going to sit and talk Guardians for the next two hours. Yeah, well, it would be tough for me because I, I literally have not watched a pitch since they changed their name. Yeah, I was going to say, yes, my, my knowledge is now over. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally pick it up from listening to podcasts of the of the yokels all over at 92.3, whether, mm. it's, whether it's Carmen and Lima or Boring Ass Basket and Phelps. You listen, I'm sure that the, on the home of the Guardians, the uh, Bloom Daddy show has lots of stuff. Oh, I bet they do. Did you see this post today? Which one? On Facebook. Okay. First of all, I went before we get to the post on Facebook. Yeah. Which we will get to. And aliens and body odor, all kind of different things I want to get into today. Sure. Um, very little time to do it. We don't have any guests today, though. It's kind of nice. No. Don't have anybody to talk to. Uh, but I do want to make some announcements. Robin Swoboda will be on Wednesday. Wednesday show, Robin Swoboda will be joining us. Looking very forward to good. that. Very uh, good. Cleveland icon. She's fantastic. Can't wait to talk to her. And then Bob France. Bob wow. France will be joining the show. Uh, sometime either this week or in, two in the weeks. next two weeks. In the next two weeks, he's going to be on the show. Bob France will be joining us. Very uh, nice. I'm going to talk to him, catch up. It's been a while since I've talked to him. Well, been a while since we've talked like, you know, for a long time. I've texted right. him quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, he, I was in uh, doing a show with him today. Not doing it, but like watching and learning stuff. Right. And uh, so he said he wanted to come on. I would love to have him on. So we're going to have Bob France on. And I think everybody will get a kick out of that. Yeah. Uh, that they, so there's a site. Yes. Bob France. Awesome. Uh, there is a site on Facebook called the Mike Trevisano Show. Mike Trevisano is the king of Cleveland. Okay. And what it's basically become is... A promotional site for this this podcast, <laughs> right? Because uh, the administrator, I, who I love, uh, seems to post a lot of everything that I post. Well, that's good. Which is very nice. So today he posted. Somebody posted on the site. Paul. Paul posted something. He said, "I try and listen to WTAM every time I hear the name Bloom Daddy. It just bothers me. The show isn't horrible, but his nickname Bloom Daddy just bothers me." Can't say I disagree with that either. It just sounds like a bad comic strip. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, it does. But this thing is blown up into like forty some different comments. Right. Um. Do you want me to put it on the screen? I can put it on the screen. Can you? Yep. Okay. Let's see. Share screen. Fuck book. And go. There you go. And there's a lot of comments. Scott, his comment is up there. I'm um, talking about having listened since they fired. Trey a great one. Or myself. Right. Um, a lot of people oh. do agree with that. I feel the same about the name, but I have to disagree. To me, the show is very bad. 
BD is really obnoxious, <laughs> and I can listen for no more than 10 minutes. Well, let me stop you here before you keep reading the comments. Yeah. I, I, I will be 100% honest. I have yeah. not listened. Not, not one, not even a promo of, of the guy. So I know nothing about Bloom Daddy. Neither do I. Is he is well, he that bad? I mean, have you okay, listened to Okay, let me be honest with you. I'm, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. I, um, during the whole process of, uh, after Trip passed away, they, right. they brought on like five or six different people. Okay. Um, they brought on Stansberry, who I thought was, you know, pretty good. And actually, I got along with him, at least on the air. Right. I have personal issues when it comes to that guy, but you know, whatever. I mean, he doesn't acknowledge it and, or me, so that's fine. Um, but I actually rooted for him to get the show. He did not. Um, then there was a couple other guys. I can't remember their names because they were kind of like whatever. I thought Chuck Letty was really good. I thought Chuck Letty should have probably gotten the show because he's a Cleveland guy. Okay. Um, if it wasn't crazy, he should have gotten the show. Um. Ron Verb, uh, I don't know where he's from, but he was decent. But you know, probably a little too old for what they wanted to to do. Okay. And so the other you know guy was really Bloom Daddy, and now, you know, what, when what he, was his? I, and and again, I'm speaking out of total ignorance, so I don't know what was his. Did he already work at the station? Was he, no, he uh, worked. He he works or worked um, West Virginia. Okay. I think he did mornings there or something, and I think he still lives there. Oh, so and he's then, not even a local guy. No, 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 no. But and I think they got him an apartment upstairs from the station, so he's here sometimes now. Okay. But uh, yeah, he's not a local guy at all. All right. And, but he uh, he came in, he auditioned, and really, I thought he wasn't bad. Okay. Um, I didn't think he was terrible. I don't like the name per se either. And I knew that there was something going on because, you know, he had kind of agreed to, hey, why don't we call it the Bloom Daddy experience with, you know, Oof. Seth and Carmen or something like that. And, of course, management said, no, 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 no. You know, Ray was like, no way in the world are we doing that, basically because Ray knew he was going to fire me. Right. Little did Ray know he was going to be fired. But, uh, you know, the, so it was obvious what was going to happen. Right. But I kind of liked him. I didn't think he was a bad guy. Okay. The problem I have with that show is Carmen. Carmen's a kiss ass. Always has been. Right. Without an original thought, and every other joke is either you know Caddyshack or Airplane, and it, it's the same shit over and over again. Right. And you know that's not what I I don't like that kind of stuff. You know, and I mean nothing against Carmen. I think he's a, a nice guy. I mean, stop calling me all together, which is okay. I don't, I don't need it. Right. There was a lot of promises made that weren't kept. And again, I'm not trying to be bitter ass. I'm just telling you the truth. Now, how did Carmen end up? And again, this is me coming from ignorance because I was, I was already off commercial radio probably a year before, even before. I mean, I, I ran into you the one time, and I ran into Triv once or twice at events, but I really kind of wasn't listening. What was what was it about Carmen that got him to get to stay? I don't know. I mean, other than the fact that I mean, he really did kiss up to management there. You know, I was kind of like the guy that took the messages from Triv, went down and said, "Hey, look, this is what Triv wants," <laughs> and right. I, I didn't care. And you know, and I think in the end that cost me. Plus, he did, you know, Tribe Insider and stuff like that. That. Uh, you know, I, I never really volunteered to do. They never asked me to do it, but that you know, that was you know, their fault. So you might still be there today if you would have run down the hall and been like, "You guys aren't going to believe what Triv is saying." If my lips were attached to the ass of Keith Kennedy, I yeah. would still be there today. <laughs> and there are people there like Garmin, like you know, other people that I've mentioned in, you know, so far that have done that. Right. And I'm not trying to you know call anybody out, but I mean it's the truth of, of the matter. Sure. So it is what it is. I mean, I'm not. Uh, again, it's not. It's not sour grapes when they promise you a job and then they just say you're fired. No. You no, know, they promise not. you. I mean, the guy over there promised me a job for months and then just said no. I mean, yeah, and that's crap. I mean, that's always crap. But unfortunately, and and you know this now, but I think you knew it then, but you just didn't want to 
hear it or believe it or whatever. Well, I knew it was a, that's it was... radio. Oh, I know. And that's why I'm not upset. I mean, it happens to everybody. Mm-hmm. But I'm also going to tell the truth about stuff that happened. Yeah. I mean, but yeah, dude, I was fired before this in the same building. Sure. Where they fired me and then they brought me back the same day and said, hey, you're fired, mm-hmm. but we want you here. Uh, so we're going to take away your benefits. We're going to give you the same hours, the same money that you were making before. Uh, come back, but you're not going to have benefits. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you want to keep your foot in the door on radio, then this is what you should do. Dude. And I sat there and said, well, what else am I going to do? I'm not a carpenter, so I, I should, should probably take this offer and, and roll with it. So, yeah, I was fired, and then they gave me two weeks off, a check for like twenty grand to go away for, for two weeks and have a vacation, and then I could come back and do whatever I wanted to do again. Right. Yeah, and, and dude, you know, for, for people to understand it. Get that picture off the screen. <laughs> everybody gets fired in radio. Yes. Everybody. I, I mean, I, I was in commercial radio for... What twelve years? I think twelve or thirteen years, and I was fired twice. Yeah, two two different times. I was fired for um, from commercial radio. I was fired once from MMS, and then ultimately again from uh, ninety two three. Look, here's the deal. I uh, like you said, everybody in radio eventually gets fired. I mean, mm-hmm. and, and, you know, I've been there for twenty four years, so I mean, it's sure. not like and fired once, but brought back the same day. But so it's not like I didn't know that something like this could happen or would eventually happen. But it's sure. the way that you do it, and it's the lack of class. I mean, it's the lack of class. That, okay, my friend and host just passed away. Yeah, you brought in and marched in all these auditions, all these people that say, "Hey, pick one." Then you come to me for advice on who you think I should. Who who, you think I, who would you work with? Who would work right. best with you? And then they threw you out the door, too. And so I'm going to them saying, yeah, this is the guy that I think I kind of get along with. This is the guy that I think you know, sounds pretty good. You know, I vouch for this idiot. And then I, then you're going to pull me in the office after I talk to him saying, hey, look, this is what we're going to start doing when you start on Monday. Uh, looking forward to doing the show with you. And then that same day, you pull me into the office and you fire me. Yeah, that's And it's lack of class. And mm-hmm. then forget about the fact that Oh, by the way, then after a month after I, I get fired, I get sick, I get my leg chopped off, so I have no insurance, no leg, no job, and that asshole of management over there decided not to promote an event that could help my family right. survive mm-hmm. because they were dicks. Yeah. Forget about the fund that Jim and Sandy, God bless them, set up for me, um, and they had to go on Rover's show to promote it. Right. To help me out. Rover would put him on and help me out. But the station I worked for for over a decade right. and helped bring money into that radio station mm-hmm. for Triv, they wouldn't promote at all. Right. And let's, no. and let's just tear down that wall a little bit more. Rover, who I do not get along with, but you do, and that's fine. You know, um, you know, the only reason you were able to get that promoted on Rover show is because Rover has it in his contract that he has 100% creative control over his show, where they couldn't stop him. Because if they could have stopped, stopped any announcement of it, which they, you know, if it was me, if it was me, they might have stopped it. Because, you know, but because rover doesn't like me but you know, <laughs> you know for you rover liked you i'm assuming right and that's why they were willing to willing to just say management be damned we're doing it and i appreciate that but i mean the manager sure. over there would do something like that <laughs> got a friend of mine who said that he uh, was working radio for five years he has 11 start dates of <laughs> 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 the whole times he was either let go laid off or right whatever. <laughs> But I mean, look, and I'm not going to sit here and do the entire show on you know, these bastards sucking sure. or anything. But I thought it was an interesting post that was on Facebook. You can look it up and, and post what you like there. Sure. Um, but I have no real problem with with Bloom Daddy, other than I mean, the name is kind of silly. But you know, I thought personally, I thought that you know I could have helped make that show at least somewhat interesting with a variety of other opinions, other than just repeating, "Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir." <sighs> Right. But whatever. Well, dude, it is what it is, man. Hell yeah, dude. I'm happy where I'm at now, to be honest with you. Yeah. I've never oh, been that... treated nicer at a radio station at WHK and I love doing this podcast. And so, and, and, and so maybe in, in the in the weirdest, ugliest way you landed where you were supposed to. 
Absolutely. I have a great time doing this with you. And you know, I, now that I've been at this other place for a couple of weeks, it's been very nice. People have been nothing but nice to me. Sure. And you know, it's been fun. It was funny because one of Carmen's friends actually texted me the other day because I was doing traffic and weather right. uh, during the afternoon show on WHK. And he texted me something absolutely horrific. But it was funny because he stopped listening to Bloom Daddy and started listening to HK. But he said, uh, my girlfriend enjoys me pounding her while she listens to your voice doing traffic and weather. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> I'll try to make it extra long for you. <laughs> your report will be extra long. That's right. <laughs> In other news... <laughs> All right, um, I gotta move on from that. All right, uh, you have a beautiful studio you work in now. Um, I just found out today. I want to get into LeBron thing in a second, but okay. uh, I found out yesterday, I should say, that July was National Pride Disability Month. Disability Pride Month. Disability Pride Month. Hey, happy DPM to you, my friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. And see, <laughs> I am just really sad because, you know, for the entire month of June, I heard nothing but Pride Month, Pride Month, Pride mm -hmm. Month, this Pride Month. And it was sponsored, no shit, by Metamucil and Charmin. Right. Pride Month on iHeart was sponsored by Charmin Toilet Paper Charmin, nice. and Metamucil Clear Out Your Anus. So... It was great, but I heard nothing but Pride Month. Right. There's flags everywhere. Everything's going Pride this, Pride that. All right. I didn't know for an entire 30 days that it was Disability Pride Month. Damn it. Now, where was my freebies? I didn't see yeah. my parade. I wasn't walking down or hobbling down or hopping down, down <laughs> or wheeling down yeah. the streets in any kind of parade with my legs flinging in the air. And, and celebrating my disability. Why, why yeah. did that not happen? I don't understand. Why didn't Peacock have a special section that featured movies like Crippled Masters? So That's that what you, I'm saying. You know, to, so that you could celebrate missing limbs. Exactly. I don't understand where my my freebies, there were no freebies. I didn't get yeah. any like, you know, free hot cocoa or donut somewhere yeah. uh, for being disabled. They could have had like survivors of Shark Week on and stuff like that. Guys that are missing right? a foot or an arm or something. Fuck yeah. And it really kind of bothered the shit out of me to see that there was nothing. I was watching Discovery, ironically enough, because I was watching Shark Week and I saw that it was Pride Disability Month. Yeah. Well, maybe you should have identified your leg as a missing woman's leg. Then you could have had Trans, Bi Mo trans, trans Disability Month. You're coming out of the closet. I'm hopping out. That's right. No. I just want my recognition. <laughs> now, is there a flag? I think there is a flag. Can, can you look up? Is there a Pride Disability Flag Month flag? It doesn't come with a pole. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is. Hang on. I think it's in this, this video. Hang on. Did you know that July is Disability Pride Month? In July of 19... I don't know. Let's see. I guess it is. Look at that. Who knew? <laughs> it's actually a much cooler flag. I will, say, I will say is that it? is... Yeah, I found it. Hold on a sec. That is a much cooler flag than the than the, the Pride, the regular Pride Month flag. That's for sure. Share... Disability pride flag. There you go. Hey, look at that. Shazam. It does look like I, it looks like a superhero flag. Yeah, look at that. And it's not rainbow. It's more like. Well, it's I mean, kind of rainbow. It's, it's rainbow, but it's a different color rainbow. So. Yeah. Power colors. It is. It's like, a, like an electric charge. Yeah, not soft pussified colors like that other flag. I mean, I should have gathered every like handicapped person that I know. Would have been me and Peter Knapp. <laughs> and he would have abandoned me for the parade because he's at the baseball games. Right. <laughs> well, they should have had you out there throwing the first pitch. See, that's what I'm, I'm telling you, we got gypped on this National Pride, Disability Pride Month thing. I mean, they I gave another the, month. 
They gave a whole. They gave the Dodgers. You know, the Dodgers gave that group a whole. You know, like a whole opening of the game or something, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, people that hate Christians. <laughs> yeah, they got a whole. They got like a whole thing. You didn't even get to throw out the first pitch. And I'd say you're the most famous disabled person in Cleveland. There's got to be other. What, I'm trying to think of other famous disabled people in Cleveland. You're the most famous. Bloom Daddy. Is he? What's no, his disability? He's not. Carbon. Right? He's Carmen? disabled. Carbon's absolutely disabled. Brain? Whether it's concussions, yeah, it's brain disabled. <laughs> so if your leg could be a, a lady leg, just put your pantyhose on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough with these dumb days or Look, months or whatever. <laughs> no, you, you see, I... There's got to be a pride for you. Is there like a pride pride month? A burn pride month? Burn pride month. Please. Even if there was, I wouldn't celebrate it. Are you kidding? Dude, I live in Twinsburg. I have twins. I've never once been to Twins Day. The last thing in the world I would ever do is celebrate something that's made up and stupid. What's next? National coverage of Sweetest Day? There has to be a burn victim. victim. I'm sure there probably is. And I have no idea when it is. And I was burned 28 Uh, years ago. What does that tell you? I'm sure it's Phoenix Day or something. This is ridiculous. Because that's what they call, that's what they do with all the burn stuff. It's all part of the Phoenix Society. Rising from the ashes, the Phoenix. Oh, you only get a week. I'm sorry. Oh, Um, I only get a week? Damn it. The 2023 Burn Awareness Week dates are February 5th through the, the 11th. I already missed it. Damn it. My God. What what do you do on that? Not cook? (laughs) <laughs> yeah um let's see fire and life safety uh, educators to unite in sharing a common burn awareness and prevention message in our communities oh sounds like a winner to me it was like the burn victim uh, pride flag like a glass of water <laughs> like a, or fire hose or something i don't know i think i found it hold on uh I think this is the burn. This must be the burn burn awareness flag. Present, share. Here you go. Burn victim week. <laughs> <laughs> Not right, but I'm a burn victim. I can get away with it. Yeah, you can say that. I can get away with it, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you need a flag to announce you're burned, then you're a loser. Well, I don't know how that... that uh disabled flag represents me i don't well it's, it matches the superman colors on your on your your leg i guess I, you know i guess so seth you got to gay or lesbian or trans or non-binary binary or queer plus be disabled. good point you got to pick something else and add it in there seth then you'd be important <laughs> can't you be a disabled lesbian i'm i'm trying the burn. <laughs> That's good. I'm trying my best to be a lesbian. I really am. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right, I want to talk about LeBron and the school. Let's take a quick break. Okay. Talk about LeBron James and his... Uh, Stellar school. All right. Sounds good. And body odor. We should talk about body odor. Well, if we're talking about LeBron, we're already talking about something that stinks. There you go. Hang on. It is time to save America and stop funding woke corporations. Shop with merchants that share your values today. Get all the great products you buy online anyway from Mammoth Nation. Visit the online store today at us.cmspn.com and save money while helping to fend off enemies of our way of life. We can't expect change until we make changes ourselves. Shop Mammoth Nation today. Are you looking for a way to support The Seth Williams Show? Get your Seth Williams Show merchandise today. From coffee mugs to clothing and everything in between, our high-quality merch is the perfect way for you to not only support the show, but show everyone what is the greatest show going today. Just go to shop.thesethwilliamshow.com now, shop around, and buy some great merchandise from The Seth Williams Show. Shop today. Hey, it's Seth, and I appreciate you watching today, and you can make a difference. For just $4.99 a month, you can help save someone's life today. It really does count, 
every dollar matters and you can change someone's life not these ridiculous dogs those are actor dogs I'm talking about myself and Chris Aiken I can barely afford a shave and a haircut or sleeves on a shirt sometimes we could use your assistance today just go to the Odyssey app go to the Odyssey website O-D-Y-S-E-E just $4.99 a month can change the world for someone today. Myself and Chris Aiken. We'll give you extra content. We'll give you bonus footage. We'll give you new episodes. Subscribe to the Odyssey channel today. Thank you. everybody it's Don Dockin when I'm feeling nostalgic I always go to pinball PA you gotta go check it out it's a lot of fun stop what you're doing and start making memories at pinball PA located at 2284 Broadhead Road suite 10b in Aliquippa Pennsylvania we have over 420 video games and pinball machines to play and all games are set to free play so no quarters or tokens are needed Pinball PA is open six days a week, and is the best and most affordable entertainment spot in all of Western Pennsylvania. Check out our website at www.pinballpa.com for more details. Come visit Pinball PA today. Initials up. Guarantees and Signs has become your complete one-stop sign shop. Call Jimmy at 216-299-9344. Their friendly and professional staff can and will help you build your company brand and identity from start to finish. One stop means you get a complete package from one location. Custom logo design, vehicle graphics, banners, t-shirts, storefront marquees, and so much more. Aaron Tees and Signs, 4883 Turney Road. Call us at 216-299-9344.